but it's Mike Newton down here at Lytham Golf Academy. New product to review for you in this video, and it's the Mizuno CLK Hybrid. And I'll tell you what, this is a beautiful looking club. Very, very impressive. So we're going to take a little look at the technology involved in this CLK, a little bit of its performance, what it's offering. We've got GC quad on the floor as always. So we're going to provide you a few numbers and my personal feedback on the looks, the feel, and the performance of this particular club. So just before we jump into the video, if you're first time viewing, then welcome to Mike Newton please hit that subscribe button if you join the video halfway through just pause it hit the subscribe ring the bell for any future notifications as soon as the video lands on the channel you'll be one of the very first ones to watch it and also while you're there hook up on my social media platforms both instagram and twitter and the handles there are at mn golf coach okay so clk hybrid from uh, Mizuno, obviously we've seen the CLK before, and this is a sort of slightly new tweaked version, a little bit uh, sort of some different things happening in the head here, which we're gonna talk about. But first thing, I got this out of the, out of the wrapper, put it down and just went, wow. You know, for a hybrid, I'm not a lover of hybrids personally, um, and the look has to be right, and this is absolutely bang on. It just sits stunning, beautiful shape. I love that sort of matte gray finish on it, and just as you pop it down by the ball, it just sits square. It doesn't sit towed in. It doesn't sit um, very upright with a toe in the air, and it, it, to me, first impressions, we'll see obviously when I come to hit it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna go left, which is a massive plus for me, and probably for a lot of golfers out there who probably just struggle a little bit hybrid in terms of controlling it. So what's happening in the head itself? So we've got a, a marriage in steel face, so obviously a very, very uh, firmer or stronger material. So that allows them to make the face very, very thin, one of the thinnest faces they're made on a hybrid. So again, that is helping to increase ball speed, consistency of ball speed across the whole face, ultimately making it a little bit more forgiving. The wave technology that we see, obviously, in the drivers and the fairway woods, we see that into the CLK, and it's quite deep. It's a real big cut back there. And I think when you look at its side, and I'll show you a few clips up on screen here when you put that side on it's a real big deep cut into there so typically you know if you're going to miss a strike probably on a hybrid it's going to be low in the club face when you're hitting it off the ground maybe out some depressions on the fairway so that little bit of flex in that low part of the club face with that wave behind it i think will help to get a little bit of energy again trying to keep that ball speed up across the club face okay let's get underway let's get one hit here so i've got myself set out about 230 from the green this is a 19 degree number three hybrid That's not a bad opening shot. Just cut that a little bit toe side. That's what's probably just turned that over there. A little bit of the toe strikes. Obviously just gonna go a little bit further with that particular connection. Very impressed with the sound on that first shot. Just very solid sound. This is what Mizuno was saying. They've done a lot of work with the acoustics of this sound to give it very much tour inspired sound in a way. Obviously those guys won't want anything sort of really loud, echoey, brash on that sort of sound. So it does feel Pretty solid, but a positive sound to it. Oh, that's a lovely strike. That's a better strike there, much solid, a bit more neutral. Yeah, that's flying into that sort of 230 area there, again, creeping to the back of that green, on that particular shot, but nice and neutral. Finishing at 242. Typically the sort of number I'd expect to see from a sort of three hybrid. Oh, that feels great. That feels super lovely flight on that. I've really hit that one well. That's flying to the back of the green there. Great strike on that shot. It's a very forward flight. It's, uh, it's, it's high, it's, it's, it's penetrating, but it's all, also at the same time, it's peaking pretty high. So you can see um, a bit of stopping power there. But the, the, the feel of that was lovely. The sound is absolutely on the money. fraction bottom but it still feels good feels solid just a little bit of cut on that which is nice again with that hybrid you know that first one was that toe strike that was more of the strike that made that turnover left uh, more than the sort of typically what we see with a hybrid too much of that upright angle but having said that this the clk is adjustable so we've got the they do two there's a clk um which is this one we've got here this adjustable so and there's a one which is glued version this is adjustable so 
we've got a lot of options here we can move this loft up and down by up to uh, two degrees up and down so there's a four degree uh, leeway of that loft change uh, we've also then got upright lie angles as well so i've got this set as a standard so this is plain square standard 19 degree standard sort of lie and that lie is actually a little bit flatter than typically a standard in a hybrid has been before with mizuno which is good so again that's that anti-left sort of shot and I, I like that i like the way that sort of sits but this and um, but then again for the same time for the guy who possibly has that left to right shape lose the ball a little bit to the right we've got upright options going to three degrees upright there which will help to obviously try and get the ball turning over a little bit more up that left hand side oh that's a little bit healy but again it feels great even on those slight miss strikes so that's just cut off a little bit but for a bit of a weak heel cutty one that's still getting up to that green uh, what did that carry out there? That carried out 2-2-4. Two, two, so that's a lost a load there for a bit of a necky sort of strike. So lofts available or heads that are available in the CLK. We've got a, a two hybrid going up to a five hybrid. And again, each one of those has a, a can go down two degrees or up by two degrees. So there's quite a lot of covering. So for instance, the two hybrid, which will come in at 16 degrees, you can knock that down to 14 degrees and make it a real sort of strong hybrid, but at the same time move that up to eight. Uh, sort of degrees and obviously you can do that on each one of those so in the two hybrid it's available right hand only the three and the four hybrids are available both right and left hand but the five hybrid uh, is right hand only as well so just for you lefties is just the three and the four hybrid available but again you've got that adjustability with that neck sleeve to just dial that uh, loft in a little bit more precise for your needs solid again great i love the sound of that i love the look of it i love the sound of it yeah and quite a nice one to finish up on there okay so there we go clk it's a great looking club feels superb sound is absolutely stunning let's go and see if the numbers stack up okay so let's have a look at some numbers here so we can see ball speed there at 143.7 uh, as an average on those shots we've hit launch at 12 degrees spin at 3380 on an average again my spin uh, so my strike will just change those numbers accordingly so you can see that first one that little bit slightly toey one you can see you get that overdraw with the bit of it, that gear effect with the toe strike obviously pulls out a little bit of spin off there see that drops down to 28 and the slight healy ones which we saw maybe that to second to last there um, obviously it's going to pop spin up so it does the opposite so that's where you see a bigger difference there but obviously cancel those two out looking at a sort of average around that 3380 which is typically pretty decent for that sort of three hybrid sort of area so got a peak height 32 yards it's getting up there quite quite high with the biggest one sort of up at 34 um descent angle coming in at 41 maybe just like to see that a little bit steeper possibly uh, but it's not uh, again it's not too bad a number there you know for again thinking about a three hybrid uh, carry distance 230 on the fly as an average and 244 as a as a bit of a, a rollout just be careful with the rollout or take note of the rollout really on the simulator it's difficult if it lands short of the putting surface on the simulator it just releases out so if it lands on the green it'll stop quicker so it's just got to bear that in mind it's not always a, a real accurate number it obviously always depends on what you know conditions is at your course time of the year whether it's softer harder runnier obviously run outs very difficult to sort of um, sort of predict in a way isn't it it's more out of your control whereas that carry number is more in in your control isn't it but some decent numbers there right guys so there we go there's the mizuno clk for 2020 a beautiful looking golf club love the shape of that love that map gray finish on it very just just lovely little curves on the back section there just sits very very square loads of adjustability i think there's up to 20 options on that so there's a lot so again my recommendation for you guys would be just go and get fit make sure you get that set in the right uh, setting that produces the right sort of ball flight for your particular game your shape your swing and also hitting that right number as you maybe you're going to use these as a gapping tool from that longest eye into your more lofted obviously fairway wood so um, a few different shaft options as always obviously different grips as well so again the fitting aspect is really important but fantastic little hybrid there love the sound of that the feel off the club face was really really sort of solid but felt quite explosive so it felt like we're getting some distance there but just felt quite easy to sort of use did feel quite forgiving there um post comments down below let me know your thoughts do you like the look of that clk i was quite impressed there i didn't get many left ones there's only that one first one which was more the toe strike 
more than probably being too upright on that lie. So that's a big box tip uh, on my behalf and possibly for yours as well. So post comments down below, let me know your thoughts as always. As I say, if you enjoyed the video, you haven't subscribed, just jump down there, hit that subscribe button, very much appreciate it. Ring that bell so then you are not miss a single video. As soon as it lands on the channel, you'll be one of the very first ones to watch it. And hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.